In this video, we will use this array formula for the late finish column. So we begin with the ID, which is sequence count of the man hours. There. And the predecessor, data validation over the ID range. And save. And let's say we can hire a maximum of five men per task. So data validation, list of items, five men. And there are three shifts in a day. So data validation, list of items, three shifts in a day. So we need three shifts. And we continue with the early start timeline, which is a spark line of the early start and the duration. And the option will be the chart type will be bar. The color one will be white. Finally, the maximum. The maximum will be the maximum, the early finish column. And we lack this reference. So this will be the reference J, J1. And enter. Right now, the values of early start are empty. So we have this error. Continue with the early start which is equal to ifs, if b3 equals empty, then it's empty. b3 equals a3, which is the id, then zero, meaning it follows itself. b3 is greater than zero, then index b3 over the early finish column, which is this column. Should be dollar tree and the entire J column. And the, we enter. Now we can drag this. We can drag this downwards actually. Next, we continue with the number of days. So, R A formula. The number of man hours divided by the quantity eight times the number of shifts times the number of men. And enter. We'll correct this. So, if the man hours is empty, then it's empty. The man hours is empty. If the man hours is empty, then it's empty. Otherwise, calculate. Now that's better. <clears throat> And let's say our default for now is one man per task and one ship per day. So these are the values of the duration. Now we continue with the early finish, which is our early formula. The early start plus the duration in days. And enter. So we have to clean this out. So that is if this is empty if this is empty then it's empty otherwise calculate so we add one more 
that is if so if it is empty calculate otherwise Now that's better. And the early finish will be the maximum of the early finish. Early project finish. And the early project start will be the minimum of the early start column. And the duration, total duration will be equal to the project fin early finish minus minus the early start so let's say task one is the first task no task one follows itself task two follows task one task three follows task two and we draw this and we continue with the slack the slack is equal to our formula the late start minus the late finish and we need to clean this so if so if if the early start is empty If the early start is empty, if the early start is empty, then it's empty. Otherwise, calculate. Now that's better. Then the late start timeline, which is the same as the spark line here, this is copy. Paste. This time, instead of H, it will be M. And this will be N. And instead of J, this will be the letter O. And enter. We equate this to this. So this is equal. This two value three values are equal and we drag this downwards continue with the let's start with the days the days should be equal to the duration of our formula of the durations and the late start which is equal to our formula the late finish minus the duration and we need, need to remove this so if if the late finish is empty so if if the late finish is empty then it's empty otherwise calculate there's an error so we will see the error we need to put a comma right here enter and that's better now we continue with the late finish formula so we copy this RA formula. Places plain text. The second line, copy and paste here. And the third line, copy. and paste right here now we're ready to enter the equal sign 
and it's now a formula. Enter.